Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about differences between C, C++, Java and Python languages. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about differences between C and C++, differences between C and Java, differences between C++ and Java, differences between C, C++, Java. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Dibbela Srinivasarao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what are the main differences between C, C++, Java and Python languages. First point is C language is a procedure oriented programming language. That means every C program can be viewed as a set of procedures or a functions. A small difference between procedure and function. A procedure does not return any value but a function can return value. Okay. Next one, C++ is an object oriented programming language. Java is a pure object oriented programming language and Python is a procedure oriented and object oriented programming language. Pure object oriented programming language is nothing but without using class we do not create any single program. So hence in Java without using class we do not create any single program. Hence we can say that Java is a pure object oriented programming language but in C++ and Python without using class also we are creating programs. Hence we can say that C++ and Python are only object oriented programming languages where Java is pure object oriented programming language. Next. Second point, C language was developed by Dennis M. Rich, whereas C++ language is developed by Bizrain Straustrup. Java language was developed by James Gosling and Python language was developed by Guido Van Rossum. Guido Van Rossum. So these, these members can be called as father of that corresponding languages. Father of C language is Dennis M. Rich. Father of C++ language is Bijren Straustrup. Father of Java language is James Gosling. And father of Python language is Guido Van Rossum. Next. In C language, there are 32 keywords are there, whereas in C++ language, 50 keywords are there. In Java language, 63 keywords are there. In Python language, 33 keywords are there. Keyword is a reserved word that is used for a performing specific function. Next one. File name in C language has the extension is .c. File name in C++ language has the extension .cpp. File name in Java has the extension .java. File name in Python has the extension .py. Every language has its own file name extension. Next one, C language is platform dependent, C++ language is platform dependent, Java language is platform independent, 
Python language is also platform independent. What is platform independent? Suppose we are creating one program in one platform. That program can also be worked on all platforms. Okay. For example, suppose we are creating one Java program in Windows operating system. The same Java program can also run on Linux operating system. So hence we can say that Java program can be worked on any operating systems. So there is independent of operating system. Hence we can say that Java language is an platform independent language. Suppose we are creating one program in one operating system. That program cannot be worked on other operating systems. Hence we can say that it is platform dependent. So C and C++ languages are platform dependent whereas Java and Python languages are platform independent. Next one is C language is a compiled language because every C program can be uh, compiled and executed by using Turbo C compiler. Every C++ program is also compiled and executed by using Turbo C++ compiler. Whereas Java program is compiled by using Java C compiler and that program can be executed by Java interpreter. Hence we can say that Java language is compiled and interpreted language. Python is only can be called as interpreted language. Every line of a Python program can be taken at a time that can be executed by using interpreter. Hence we can say that Python is a interpreted language. Only Java is a both compiled and interpreted languages. Next point is C language supports pointers. C++ language also supports pointers. Java does not support pointers. Python also does not support pointers. A pointer is a variable that is used for storing the address of another variable. So both C and C++ supports pointers whereas Java and Python languages does not support pointers. Java language does not support pointers because of security reasons. Next one. C language does not support exception handling mechanism. C++ language supports exception handling mechanism. Java language supports exception handling mechanism. Python language also supports exception handling mechanism. If any error is occurred to handle that error, we have to use exception handling mechanism. In exception handling mechanism, try block, catch block and finally blocks are exist. In try block, an exception is generated. In catch block, an exception is handled. So only C++, Java and Python languages supports exception handling mechanism whereas C language does not support exception handling mechanism. Next one, C language supports the header files. So stdio.h, cvonio.h, so etc. So C language supports header files. C++ language also supports header files. Java language supports only importing of packages. A package is a collection of classes, sub-packages, interfaces. 
Next, Python language also supports importing of libraries. Next one, C language is a case sensitive language. C++ language is a case sensitive language. Java language is a case sensitive language and Python language is also a case sensitive language. Case sensitive language is nothing but both upper case letters and lower case letters does not same. For example, small a and capital A both are not same because it follows as key values. American standard code for information interchange. Small a as key value is 97, capital A as key value is 65. Because of that reason, both are not same. So, case in case sensitive language, uppercase letters and lowercase letters does not same. Next one is C language is not secure because it uses pointers. C++ language is somewhat secure because of encapsulation and data hiding concepts. But it is uh, less secure than Java. Java is fully secured because it does not support pointers and it supports exception handling mechanism and a data hiding mechanism. Python is also secure but it is uh, less than Java. Next one is uh, database connectivity. So like JDBC connection is not supported in C language. Database connectivity is not supported in C++ language but Java language supports database connectivity. Java database connectivity that is JDBC. Python language also supports database connectivity. Okay, so that means our program is connected with the database. Okay, so Java language supports and Python language supports database connectivity. Next one is for reading the input from the keyboard in C language, it uses scanf function. For reading the input from the keyboard in C++ language, we have to use cin function, capital C in. In Java language, we have to use classes for reading the input from the keyboard. So first one is scanner class. It is available in util package, buffer reader class. It is available in IO package. In Python language, for reading the input from the keyboard, we have to use input function. Next, in C language, for displaying the output on the monitor, we have to use printf function. In C++ language, for reading, for displaying the information on the monitor, we have to use cout function. In Java language, we have to use for displaying the information on the monitor, we have to use system.out.println. In Python language, for displaying the information on the monitor, we have to use printf function. And in C language, at the end of each statement, semicolon is required. In C++ language, at the end of each statement, semicolon is required. In Java language, semicolon is required at the end of each statement. But in Python language, semicolon is not required at the end of each statement. So among all the languages, Semicolon is required in C, C++ and Java but Python language at the end of each statement semicolon is not required. Next one is in C language to represent a block of statements we have to use the 
curly braces. In C++ also, we have to use curly braces to represent a block of statement. In Java language also, to represent a block of statements, we have to use curly braces, opening brace and closing brace. But in Python language, to represent a group of statements, we have to use proper indentation. Next one, in C language, declaring variables is required if they are used in the program. Okay, in C++ language, whenever any variable is used in the program, it must be declared compulsory. In Java language, whenever a variable is required, at that time, we have to declare that variable. There is no need of declaring variables at the beginning in the Java program. Whenever a variable is required, so it is declared at that time only. But in Python language, we do not declare any variables. Only C, C++ languages, we have to declare the variables initially whenever we are used in the program. But in the Java language, whenever a variable is required, at that time, we have to declare that variable only. But Python does not use the declaration of variables. Next one is, for writing the C program, we have to use some editors. So, Turbo C editor and code blocks are used for writing C programs. So, ID, ID, IDE for C++ language, that is Integrated Development Environment, it is used for writing the uh, programs. In C++ language, the IDE is Turbo C++ and Code Blocks. For Java language, the IDE is Eclipse and NetBeans. The IDE for Python language is Jupyter Notebook or PYDEV. So, next one. In C language, the basic building blocks are functions. Okay, by using functions, we have to construct the C program. Hence, we can say that the basic building blocks for C language is functions. In the same way, in Java, uh, in a C++ language, the basic building blocks are objects. In Java language, the basic building blocks are classes and objects. In Python language, the basic building blocks are objects, classes and functions. Next one is applications. So C language is mainly used for developing operating systems. It is mainly used in embedded programming and it is mainly used in compilers and interpreters. C++ language can be mainly used for system programming and uh, simple desktop applications and also embedded systems. Java language is used in so Windows applications, web-based applications, GUI applications, some gaming applications also Java language is used and uh, mobile applications also Java language is used. Next one, Python language is used in several applications, AI applications, artificial intelligence applications, next machine learning applications uh, for uh, displaying the information uh, in various forms, we have to use Python language and also web-based applications also we are using and gaming applications also using and network applications also Python is used. So in so many applications, Python and Java languages are used. But C, C++ languages are used in limited applications. So these are the 20 differences between C, C++, Java and Python language. It is one of the most important concepts that can be commonly asked in campus interviews. Okay, 
in uh, external viva examinations also this question can be asked so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel after subscribing my youtube channel so divela srinivasa rao please share this video to your friends and classmates if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will clarify your doubts thank you thank you one and all for watching this video